today we are at Universal Studios in Japan and it's my second time here. I absolutely love it so much. We're going to check out all of the amazing food here, go on lots of rides and first let's go get some accessories. First things first, let's see what hats we can find. My tradition is to always find a hat the first thing we do when we enter a theme park. I'm going to try the bear one on <laughs> and then I think it clips over here. Woo! What do we think? Hate it. Oh my gosh, look at this minion hat. <laughs> it's so cute. It's like it's got its goggles on and then it's got the bear on the side. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Look at this whole wall of mugs. Oh my gosh, I've never seen this Yoshi one before. What's that? An egg? I think this is so cute. Look at this hat. It says, I don't really know what this is from though. Is this like supposed to be Snoopy? There's no mirror. I think this is really cute. I think we found the one. Let's go with this hat. All right, next off is Mario Pancake. So before we get into Super Nintendo World, I know the line for this place gets so long. Let's see if we can get it before the line gets crazy. Arigato <laughs> gozaimasu. Oh, we'll stir it? Will do. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye. So we got the Mario Shortcake pancake sandwich and then we also got the Princess Peach. I think it's the creaming soda drink. Look at this. So inside we've got strawberry, cream, jam, and I think custard. Alrighty, first bite. Mm, 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 mm. This is delicious. The strawberry tastes really fresh. And then inside we've got some cream. I need to get to the good stuff though inside. I don't want to drop any of these strawberries though, so let me just submerge some straight through the middle. The pancake tastes really light and fluffy and not too sweet actually, surprisingly, which is really nice. So the deeper you get inside, the more flavor there is. Mm, this is my breakfast today. <laughs> Good tip is to definitely come here first thing in the morning after you enter the park because the line is so much better than later in the day when everyone wants this for dessert. It can be up to an hour and a half or more long. So we only waited like 10 minutes, I think. The lady said we need to give it a good mix. So I'm just gonna do that. Let me give it a bit of a taste before I fully mix in the cream. I love how there's like a Princess Peach crown here. Mmm, tastes like a fizzy peach soda. Really nice, I love fizzy drinks. But I think the more we mix in this ice cream, the more creamy it's going to taste. Give it a good mix. So at the bottom it's got little peach jellies as well. So it's really nice. It's on the sweet side though, so if you don't like things that are too sweet, it may not be for you, but it's a nice fizzy drink. We are rushing because <laughs> um, we have time to entry for our rides. And the first one is the Mario Kart ride and it starts now. <laughs> so let's run. <laughs> so let's go through the tunnel. This is so cool. Oh my gosh, we're about to enter. Wow. We have arrived to Super Nintendo World. How amazing is it? It looks exactly like the game. This is insane. Like all these details. That's where we're going to eat later at Canopio's Cafe. Here it is. We found Bowser's Castle. This is where the Super Mario Kart ride is. Currently, we are in Bowser's Castle. There's a massive Bowser here made from stone. Our cap is on and we're ready for the ride. Oh my gosh, we can see through these. Oh. Whoa! Oh my gosh. <laughs> Whoa! That was actually really fun. So you go around in like your own cart and you look through the VR glasses and then you can like you turn steer your wheel and like shoot like different carts and stuff. It's really fun. Funner than I thought. We're actually running late to our Yoshi right now, so let's run there. Let's go. Oh, it's such a beautiful day today. I can't believe it. Look, even looking at those things, like the little mushroom. This is the next ride we're going on. It's called Yoshi's Adventure, and it gives us a really nice view of Super Nintendo World overall. So let's head there. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, we can see the rest of the park. Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> This is so fun. This is definitely more of like a chill kids ride, <laughs> but I love it. I love it because I hate roller coasters. <laughs> Look at this baby Yoshi. This is so cute. I can't. Ah! Yay! 
Let's have a look at the merch in here. I think there's more variety than the shops outside. Oh, I can't wait. So I don't know why, like there's a spot for you to put your hands in. So you do this. <laughs> That's cute. Oh my gosh, it's a magic cup. Oh, how cute is this? It's so cute. It's like a tissue box cover. <laughs> Imagine having one of these at home. That was an unsuccessful shop at the merch store because something that I had my eye on, which were these like toad earmuffs. They're so cute. They're like red toads either side of your ear and they're sold out. I asked them, they're like, I'm so sorry, it's sold out, but that's okay. But other things in the store, there wasn't anything that I really, really want to buy. I do want to buy a few mugs though, so I'll buy that at the end of the day so I don't have to like lug it along with me. This is Pinocchio's Cafe. They said it's a 90 minute wait, which is really long. I'm kind of on the fence, but I feel like it'll be really cool. Hello, konnichiwa. Arigato gozaimasu. Wow, oh my gosh. The interior here is so beautiful. It really does feel like we are in the inside of a mushroom, inside toad. And the centerpiece is like a floating toad. Do you see it? There's tunnels everywhere. We made it into Canopio's cafe and they said it would be a 90 minute wait but it ended up taking an hour so I'm really happy about that. Uh, the first thing we got was this hot lemonade and I want to drink it quickly because some of the cream is already melting. But this is so interesting like I've never had a lemonade that's hot before. I guess maybe it'll taste like a lemon tea or something but let's try the cream first. This is so strange. You can actually see bits of like lemon, like pulp. It actually tastes kind of like a very strong hot lemon tea. It's not fizzy. All of our foods arrived, so let me do a bit of a haul of what we got. So the first thing we have is this mushroom soup and it's in this really cute toad bowl. Ah, I can't deal. Look, it looks bold now. We also have hamburg steak or this hamburger steak with mashed potato they've colored it green and it also comes with rice so you can choose rice or bread we've got rice other thing we got is this uh, carbonara it's a yoshi or yoshi so cute because it's got like a yoshi egg at the top oh my god it's soft what is that and finally we have this dessert which is the chocolate stump cake i think but yeah, so many things to try, I'm excited. First things first, let's try this Yoshi's Carbonara. Look at that. It's really creamy. And what I actually like is the pieces of bacon that adds a nice kind of uh, bit of saltiness. It's got pieces of mushroom, spinach. It's really creamy. This is a bit better than what I thought it would be, but it's still not the best. I think if I were to rate this, it would probably be maybe a 6.8, like close to a 7. Now let's figure out what the Yoshi egg is at the top. Oh, it's an egg. Oh my gosh. I just popped it and it's nice and ooey gooey. The egg really enhanced it even more. I love the taste of an egg yolk. It adds like a nice flavor and creaminess to the carbonara. Next we have the hamburger steak and the mashed potato. Oh my gosh, so I just cut open the hamburger steak and I had no idea there was an egg at the top. Oh my gosh, look at all that yolk. I think there's two sauces we can dip it in. There's like a brown sauce, which I'm assuming is barbecue and there's also red, so that is tomato sauce. Cheers. Tastes like a really nice piece of beef patty, minced. And then the egg adds a nice creaminess to it. This is the bite that we're working with. Let's add a little bit of that green mash on top as well. This is a loaded bite. Will I be able to fit this in my mouth? We'll see. <laughs> you can taste it's not super duper fresh or restaurant quality where it's like got a nice crust, a nice juiciness. It's still, it's nicely cooked, it's soft, but it's like, you can tell that it's like themed food, you know what I mean? I'm so excited for this one. This is the mushroom soup. Let's open it up. Whoa. It looks so naked without the mushroom hat. It has a very like thick texture. I think you can see. It's like grainy and you can see bits of mushroom. Let's give it a taste. How do I describe this taste? It's like mushroomy, but it's very strong and creamy. Not bad, but not my favorite, to be honest. But yeah, I probably wouldn't recommend getting this. If I had to rate this, it would probably be a six. 
Last but not least, we have the chocolate stump cake. It's got layers of chocolate cake and chocolate mousse, it seems, or cream. First bite, cheers. Probably one of the better things we've had today. Why is there a storm right now? The windows around us, it shows like an animated video and it's showing that there's like a storm outside and all these little toadettes are running around. I think I would rate this like a 7.5 around there. It's like definitely under an eight, but it's enjoyable for sure. Overall, to sum up my experience at Canopio's Cafe, I would say the vibes here are really cool. I love the environment and the way that they've decorated the inside of this cafe. It really does feel like you're inside Toad. And I do think the food is average though. So if you are coming, don't have super high expectations for the flavor of the food. It does taste quite mediocre to me. We are leaving Super Nintendo World now and we're going to check some of the other areas and then go to Harry Potter World later. So now we're in line for a smoked chicken leg. I haven't tried it from Universal Studios before, so I'm really keen. One smoked chicken, please. One? Yes. Arigato gozaimasu. Arigato. Thank you. Oh, smoking. Whoa. <laughs> okay, we've got our smoked chicken leg. It looks pretty big, hey. It smells very smoky, like a turkey. I like it. It's salty, smoky, and the skin is very soft. Let me show you a close up. Look at that glistening in the sun. Hmm. So how do I describe this flavor? Think about bacon, if you've had bacon before. So it's kind of like that smoky, salty flavor. And the chicken itself is quite tender. It's very soft. No, no, no. Last time I went to Universal Studios, I got the turkey leg, not the chicken leg. And I think the chicken leg is a lot better because it's juicier, it's uh, more succulent. It's like right now I can see some juices pouring out. Whereas the turkey leg that I had last time was a little more on the dry side. It was a little bit more tough to buy, but this one is really, really tender. So succulent too. Guys, I have a stomach ache. I don't know where I got it from. Surely it's not that delicious chicken leg. That would be too instant. Okay, let's go inside Harry Potter world. Whoa, I love the snow. So I'm starting to feel a little bit stressed about the next ride we're going on. It's called the Forbidden Journey and I don't know why, I just feel really anxious a little bit. <laughs> um, but anyway, so we're in line for Butterbeer and it's something that's really iconic here. Hey, Okay, we've got our cold butter beer. It was 700 yen, it's a pretty decent price. It's actually non-alcoholic, despite being called butter beer. Let's give it a sip. Mm, it's sweet and fizzy. It's got a very distinct like flavor. Mm, and I really like the foam at the top, it's nice and fluffy. I think I would probably rate this around an 8.4 out of 10, I reckon. It's kind of hard for me to describe what the liquid tastes like. It's like fizzy and sweet, almost like creaming soda in a way. Whoa, look at Hogwarts. We got it right at sunset. <laughs> I'm actually nervous. I think this ride has like, I'm not sure. I think it might have drops. Oh my gosh, this, if this little kid can do it, then I can as well. We are entering Hogwarts. Oh, thank gosh, it's a lot warmer in here. I'm freezing outside. Goodbye. Wish me luck. We just finished the ride and it was so much fun. I think it actually wasn't as scary as I thought. So I don't know why I was so nervous for. I think if I were to rate it like from a scary level from one to 10, it's probably like a six. We are going to join the line for a Hogwarts meat pie, 700 yen. Okay, we just got ourselves a Hogwarts meat pie and it's quite small, like it's a kind of snack size, I'd say. It feels very flaky and it's warm. Let's give it a bite. I haven't really got into the meat yet, but it's got a nice kind of flaky pastry. So it's got minced beef, I think. And the flavor kind of reminds me of like the minced beef in a spaghetti bolognese, weirdly enough, because I think it's got carrots, peas, and it's got like that tomato-y flavor to it. I think what they do really well is the pastry and the filling's pretty good too. 
I think I would rate this one like a an eight flat. Now we are heading to a roller coaster. Okay, so this is our next ride. It's called Flight of Hippogriff. We got straight through. <laughs> oh my gosh, what's that? All right. We just finished the ride and the roller coaster was pretty fun, but the only thing is I think it finished so quickly. I felt like it probably went on for like a minute max like even less but it was really really fun in the beginning and then i wouldn't say it's super fast paced it's a little slow whoa look at that <laughs> but yeah i love exploring the harry potter world here it's so fun one of the final things we're getting is pokemon a pokemon bun so there's a squirtle churro and a pikachu pizza bun how cool so we just picked up a few Pokemon goodies. The first one is this Pikachu pizza bun. It's nice and warm and it's really soft as well. Let's give it a try. It's a pizza filling. So it really does taste like tomato -y and delicious. Cheers. Mm. I probably rate this as 7.5. Yeah, this is pretty good. It's got a nice and soft bun and the sauce is definitely very pizza-like, tomato-y. It's got some sausage bits, cheese. Yeah, pretty good. Okay, the next thing we have is a Squirtle churro. Let's give it a taste. Mmm, it's super crunchy. It's not hot though. I do wish it was hot. It's got like a nice chocolatey um, flavor. And the frosting on top gives it like an extra sweet boost to it. Yeah, pretty good. This is like a really good churro. It has the crunch, it has the flavor. It's chocolate, nice sugary coating. I'd probably give this an 8. It would actually probably be a 9 if it was like hot and really fresh though. Yeah, awesome. What a day that was. I had so much fun. We had so much great food and we went on some really fun rides. So thank you so much for joining me and watching my vlog. I will see you in the next one. Bye.